All right, y'all, we back up on the houseboat again today. Today's Saturday. I was hoping to get up here yesterday on Friday on my day off, but it stormed all day long. So I uh, ran errands, went and got four by eight sheets of plywood for closing in my shop and all that, but got up here today. The sun is shining. It is a beautiful day. Nice and cool, but the sun is out. Got up here, uh, gave the roof a good blow job with my, <laughs> with my leaf blower. Uh, got everything laid out and uh, I'm fixing to put on these latex gloves mix this MEK in that resin and start laying out this strip right here gonna come all the way back to right in right in there somewhere and then I'm gonna wet out another piece to go across the back because these sheets over here I accidentally made them too short if you remember and so I followed suit and on purpose made that sheet too short and the sheet I'm fixing to lay I made it too short on purpose to kind of match because I'm OCD <laughs> and uh, the next one after that one uh, kicks off and dries I'm gonna do do one going from left to right gonna do the side cap down here on this back and then uh, Hopefully my goal is today to have this whole roof sanded, have this front deck sanded and smooth. I got to take that uh, that old remnant of the railing off. I've got to pull out broken off screws and I'm going to fill all the screw holes with caulking. Anywhere there's a screw hole going to get caulking and I'm going to clean all this crap off the the back of this deck here garbage and stuff that's accumulated from me working up here get all that crap off fill any little screw holes with caulking sand this back deck take the remnants of that crane off the back uh, hopefully get that big giant aluminum plate off the top there's a matching one underneath on the underneath side of the roof that's going to leave me with a bunch of holes that i'm going to have to uh, fill somehow and I was thinking I might get underneath after I get it all off I might get underneath and take uh, that aluminum duct tape called 500 mile an hour tape some people call it and put the tape over the holes on the underneath side of the roof and then mix up a batch of resin and pour resin in the holes and let the, the holes harden that's just me talking out loud now who knows maybe once I get the the holes out who knows that that roof might be hollow or something or have honeycomb in it or something who knows so me pouring resin in it I could probably pour a hundred gallons of resin in one hole and it would never fill up so I guess we'll see when we cross that bridge we'll see about that so but anyway that's what I'm gonna start doing I'm gonna quit yakking in y'all's ears and I appreciate y'all returning and watching the saga of me <laughs> fiberglass in this roof Oh, by the way, I ordered gel coat. I ordered gel coat um, this past, when was it, uh, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. I ran in and I ordered a bunch of gel coat from the local fiberglass paint shop. And it should be in, the lady told me, Monday. So Monday when I go back to work, I'm going to pick up my gel coat. And quite possibly next Friday maybe start gel coating i'm not sure because we're actually going out of town friday evening to go ride the side by sides up in georgia and uh so i don't know if i'll i don't know number one if the weather will be right for me to do gel coat number two i don't know if i have the time to do it with all the other stuff i'll be doing friday but uh so maybe or maybe not expect a video next weekend i, I can't guarantee i'll be doing anything next weekend however the following weekend I should be golden for doing uh, gel coat if I don't get to it this coming Friday. Anyway, I'm done yakking. Alright, well we got that strip did. And with a little proper planning, I would have sanded this out already. And would have immediately went to fiberglass and that strip. But I didn't think that far ahead today. So, I'm uh, about to sand all this and get it ready for the strip that I'm gonna put this way all right wish me luck all right 
got her sanded from uh, where the roll left off that went from front to back back around this back corner down the face of that across the uh, peanut butter putty that I made and out onto the back deck a little bit I sanded the gel coat that's all going to be that's all going to be continuous fiberglass here so that's what I'm fixing to do this uh, strip I just did a bit ago is just about dry so I'm going to use this opportunity to hop off the boat go get me a drink see a little fat baby he's down there patiently waiting for me to come down and give him a little snacky snack so I'm going to do that get me a drink and I'll be back up here fiberglassing look at him wagging his tail 100 miles an hour Socks, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, I lied to you. I didn't go down to take a break just yet. I decided I was going to paint that freshly sanded rear cap there. So I uh, mixed up some resin and uh, painted it on there. Painted it up over the edge and down onto the rear deck a few inches. So while I'm taking a break, all that's going to be that wood is going to be absorbing some of that resin and uh it'll make it where it doesn't suck so much resin out of this this rear strip that i'm fixing to put on after break all right socks likes his socks likes his cheerios here you go buddy get him <laughs> He loves his Cheerios. <laughs> Look at his tail. He's happy as hell. <laughs> Alright, I got all my stuff laid out. Resin hardener, mix drill, all that fun stuff. Fixing to wet this out and lay these pre-cut rolls along this back cap. And when I get done with that, I've got the roll set out for going from here over to here. And once I get there... The fiberglass on this roof is done and I'm going to drink a frosty adult beverage. Got the back cap done. One step closer to a beer. I just got to get that roll wet out from there to there. Then it's beer 30. Alright folks, this is the last of it. Fixing to start there. Run down here to ding 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 got a prize waiting for me i gotta get to it before it gets warm well folks i've got some good news and i've got some gooder news the good news is i just got done laying the last of the fiberglass on this damn thing <laughs> it's been a journey the gooder news is i got me a frosty adult beverage to celebrate Y'all go get y'all one too. Y'all deserve one for putting up with these dumbass videos. <laughs> Alright. Now, I gotta clean up all this mess. And I need to get that plate off with that pipe. However, I was not thinking ahead. I let my wife borrow my truck with all my tools in it. And uh, she hauled the... Uh, I loaded up the side-by-side -side on the trailer for her this morning. Hooked it behind the truck. She went riding her side by side with a bunch of her girlfriends. And uh, I have no tools to get that off. So um, I'm going to have to go dig through the shed, see what I can come up with to try to get that damn thing off and uh, clean this mess up. That's the next step. All right, y'all. Got the roof cleaned up. All that's good stuff. But uh, all the garbage is gone. Uh, this is all the tools I had to work with. A lug wrench, a shitty old Bostitch impact, uh, a crappy screwdriver with a bunch of different bits on it. And believe it or not, one of the bits, one of, it had an Allen head, but believe it or not, did fit these Allen heads that, bolts that go through. So I got a lot of the nuts off from the underneath side, but some of them are like corroded and not wanted to wanting to come off so i've been defeated i'm not going to get as far as i thought i was going to get i got to wait till 
my tools get back to me. I got a Milwaukee impact and a, you know, all the Allen head bits and crap like that. So I'll be able to zip this thing right on off when all my tools get back and then I'll start the sanding and stuff. I'm pretty much just burnt out for today. It's been a long day of me being out here screwing around with this thing. So I'm calling it a day, but I've got a lot of, a lot of good work done. So I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me on this adventure.